Hi, this is Igor. A quick note to my regular subscribers. This video has nothing to do with DaVinci Resolve or media and entertainment. It is all about AI. I also want to thank Andrew Hazelden who turned me on to this a couple of days ago. By now, most everyone has had a chance to play with uh, ChatGPT, perhaps even use the OpenAI API or maybe some other API. But perhaps you also wondered, what does it feel like to run these large language models on your local machine? And something really excellent came out the other day from Mozilla and developer Justin Tunney. It is called LlamaFile, and it allows you to compile the weights for the model and everything it needs to run in a single executable file that will run on any architecture. I will show you how to set that up on Windows. It's pretty quick and it's pretty impressive. How hard is this to do? You don't need a degree in computer science to do it. I certainly don't have one, but you do need a little bit of skills. I mean, you can obviously follow what I'm doing. If you go to the Mozilla GitHub page for Llama file, you can just go straight down here to quick start and download a Llama file that's ready to go. One important thing for Windows is executable files cannot be larger than four gigabytes. So even though there are a couple of other ones down here, you have to use this one. And there's some ways to make it work even if your weights are larger than four gigabytes, but then it can't be a single file. So we'll click on this Llama file and download it. Here's the Llama file we downloaded. I will type in CMD here to open the command line and we will go to the directory that's containing this file. And let's just execute this file. See here on the right in the browser, it opened a tab with the chat client. So say something, how are you? Well, that's fine. Now the problem with this is if I open the task manager and try, let's try something longer. Tell me a story about a bunny with short ears. As you can see, the inference is running on the CPU. There's a lot of CPU activity and ideally we want to run that on the GPU, but it's not going to do straight out of the box. So, I will show you the steps how to make it run off of a GPU. I will press Ctrl C to break this process. We can close this little tab as well. To make this run on the GPU, we'll need a couple of things. So the first one is the CUDA toolkit, which you can download from here. We need a Windows version. This is Windows 11, local and uh, just download this file and launch it. It will walk you through the installation. It is uh, going to take, you know, five or 10 minutes or something like that to uh, install. Once you're done with that, you also need to install Visual Studio. There's a free and non-free version. Community is the free version, so that's all you really need. When you download and run the installer, make sure to check the box that says support for desktop C++ applications. Once you download all those pieces and install them, we have to run Llama file through the Visual Studio's command line just the first time so it builds a dynamic library that CUDA needs. And if you look at here in this Llama file folder, these are the source files that will be compiled into a dynamic library. So to run the Visual Studio command line, we'll type in x64 and pick it from here, native tools command prompt for Visual Studio. Let's see the to that same directory that we have down here in this other window. Maybe I'll move it here so you can see a little better what's going on. And all we have to do is just run it. It finished building. As you can see, there's a, a library file here. It launched the client again. However, it will still be running off of the CPU. We have to close that, break out of this process with Control C. At this point, we can close this window. And now we're gonna run it, but we're gonna run it with a command line argument, NGL35. And that's how you have to do it every time you start it. Here's our task manager. Let's click on the GPU tab. See this rise and plateau of the video RAM? Our weights have been loaded into the RAM of the graphics card. And now we can try something. Wow. 
Wow, that was really fast. Actually, even running it off of the CPU was pretty fast for me. I have a, a very fast Intel 1490K i9 CPU, but running it off of a GPU, this is a 3080 Titanium, is even faster. What would be really interesting to see is how fast we get an answer to this prompt in GPT-4. So what I'll do is I'll run it in ChatGPT and then I will put these two side by side to see which one is faster. Llama was definitely faster running on a local GPU, but also the quality of the answer is not nearly as good as GPT-4. I hope this was helpful. And if you wondered about what I was mentioning at the beginning about my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, I've done a bunch of those, but specifically this year, I've done a series of proof of concept demos where I integrate AI with DaVinci Resolve, which is a software used in media and entertainment. I'd like to invite you to check those out. Thanks for watching.